Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's tutorial are these little towel toppers that one of my Facebook group um, members asked if I would do for them. Uh, Nancy, Nancy Crochet, I don't remember, it's, it's Nancy, I remember that, but <laughs> she liked one of the dish towels that I had made and asked if I would make a towel topper that she can hang her dish towel from and I said sure. I would. <laughs> now, I went to Walmart and got some cute towels for this tutorial to show you guys. And then I picked out some just normal Red Heart Super Saver yarn for the for the toppers. Now, this genius right here, let me tell you, she forgot to make a buttonhole for the prototype. So, we just kind of improvised and used my tail to, <laughs> to go around my button. Like so. <laughs> So don't forget the buttonhole. Now this is actually two buttons that I sewn together that I thought looked cute with the red and yellow on this one, but you kind of can't tell that's red. But this one is, um, oh, what color is that? Buff? I think this is buff. And then this one is just Red Heart Super Saver Cherry Red. And then I found a blue button. So this is a one and a, a one and quarter inch button and it fits perfectly in our buttonhole. So that is one of the supplies you're going to need is your is a one and one quarter inch button. Just like that. And then you're going to need obviously you're going to need your yarn. So any four weight yarn that you choose that matches your towel. You can use cotton or acrylic. This is just acrylic. Um, and then you're going to need a five millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need a needle and thread. Now you can use embroidery floss. You can use um, actual needle and sewing thread. I just used um, Aunt Lydia's crochet thread. Just honestly because it was what was set next to me and it works perfectly fine. However, you need to make sure your needle will fit through your buttonholes before you uh, get too far into it. Because you don't want to get so far and then crap your button your your needle don't fit through your button <laughs> so you're going to need needle and thread so there's mine your five millimeter hook pair of scissors needle to weave in your end and um you may need some uh, like a scratch paper and a pen because we work quite a few rows of single crochet and i I think it'd just help you guys to keep track of where you are. And go ahead and grab you a stitch marker because you may need one of those too, okay? All right. And then get you a cute towel. Or you can make one of mine like Nancy did. All right, guys. Get your supplies together and let's get started. Okay, so to get started with our towel topper, we are going to get a slip knot on our hook. And chain eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. All right, now we're going to single crochet in the second chain from our hook. So, not the one right next to our chain, but the very next one, or our hook, the very next one. Single crochet in there, and then we're going to single crochet into each of the remaining chains. So that was row one, and we should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven little single crochets right there. All right, so to move on to round two, we chain one and turn, and we're going to single crochet right into that very first single crochet right there. And single crochet into each single across. So again, we should still have single crochet, or <laughs> we should still have seven single crochets. That was my last one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, that was round two. So for round three, we're gonna chain one. I'm saying round, I meant row. For row three, we're gonna chain one and turn, 
And now we're going to single crochet into that very first single and into the next. So right into that very first single and then single crochet into the next. Now we're going to chain three. One, two, three. Skip three. One, two, three. And that's two chains left and we're going to, or two singles left. And we're going to single crochet into the next and into the last. Basically, that's our buttonhole. That's all that is. All right, now row four, chain one and turn. Single crochet into that very first single. Single crochet into the next single, the one right before that little chain. And now we're going to work three singles around that chain. One, two, and three. Now single crochet into that next single and into the very last. So we should be back up to seven singles. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, there's our little buttonhole. Okay, so chain one and turn. And for row five, we're just gonna single crochet across. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna chain one and turn and then we're gonna repeat row five. So we're gonna repeat that for six all the way to 30, okay? So chain one and turn, and this is row six. Single crochet straight across. All right, that was row six. Chain one, turn, here's row seven. We're gonna repeat that until row 30. All right, so you can get you a piece of scratch paper or a stitch counter. That's row seven. Chain one and turn. There's eight. Okay, so you guys get all the way to row 30 done, and I will come back once I get mine done. All right, I'll be right back. Okay, I've got all those single crochet rows done. So one to 30. And now we're gonna move on to row 31. So we chain one and turn. And now we're gonna start working half double crochets. So into this very first single, we're gonna work two half doubles. So we're gonna start increasing as well. One, two. Now we're gonna half double into each single until the end. Don't work into that last one, okay? So just half double into each single. All right, into the last one where you're going to work the two half doubles. Just like that, okay? I, uh, I had a sneeze coming and now it's gone. Now I feel like I'm all stuffed up. All right, so that was row 31. We're gonna chain one and turn. And row 32, we're gonna re repeat the exact same thing. Two half doubles into that very first one. Half double into each until your very last half double. All right, if you rotate your work, you can see right there is our last half double. And that's where we want to work the last two. And you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven half doubles. All right, so that was 32, uh, row 32. Okay, so basically row 33 and 34, we're gonna do the exact same thing. Chain one and turn, 
two half doubles into your very first half double, half double across, two half doubles into your very last half double. I feel a sneeze coming on. Sorry about that. <laughs> anyway, half double across, two half doubles in your last uh, half double. Chain one, turn, two half doubles in your first, half double across, two half doubles in your last. And that will be row 34. So I'm going to get, um, right now I'm on 33. I'm going to finish that and finish row 34 and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, so I'm coming to the end of row 34. I have one more half double I got to work into. So if you uh, rotate your work a little right, there's that last half double. So I'm going to work my two half double into it. All right, now you should have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen half double crochets, okay? All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to create the little loop that's going to hold our towel. Okay, so to create that loop, we are going to chain 17. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And we're going to come right to this other end of our work and we're going to slip stitch to that very last half double. So rotate your work a little and you can see it. We're going to slip stitch right in there. Okay? So this is a little part that's going to hold our towel. All right, so we're going to move on to round 35. So we're going to chain one. And now what we're going to do is we're going to work on one side of these half doubles. We're going to work on the front loops. And then we're going to come around the end, around this chain. And then we're going to be working into the front loops on this side. Um... So, I mean, it, when we're working it this way, yes, it's the front loops. And then we, when we rotate, it's technically the back loops. But I'm just going to refer to it as the front loops because it's the front of our work. As we rotate, it changes. But what we're going to do... All right, so you slip stitch to your first, chain one. And rotate your work a little bit not a little bit, but rotate your work. And now what I want you to do is take that slip knot and slide that over just so you can see the two loops. Let me get the two loops of your half double that you slip stitched into because that's the first one we're going to work our half double into. So when you rotate your work, just pinch that, not hard, just pinch the slip stitch and slide it over. And then the two loops, the heart of the top of that half double should poke right out. All right, so get my back in order, slide that over. And now I'm going to go right in there, front loop only, and work two half doubles. One and two, just like that. Now we're going to half double front loop, half double, all across, just straight across to this other side. Okay, so this is the last half double crochet right here. And I'm going to go ahead and work my half double into there. And then I'm going to turn my work. And then I'm just going to pick up that chain just to get it out of the way. And now I can see my remaining loops right here. So I'm going to come right around and half double crochet into 
the front loop right there, which just remaining loops. And then go ahead and finish this all the way to the end. Not to the end, but all the way down. Keep going just about there. All right, this one, and there is my last one. It's a little hard to see, but it's right there. And I'm gonna work two half double into there. Now, if we did this right, we should have 31 half double crochets. However, if you have more, like 32, it's not a big deal. If you have 33, pull back and work a little half double crochet decrease, then work your increase. But we should have 31. Let's count. <clears throat> so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Good deal. Yay. <laughs> All right. Now we are going to slip stitch to that very first half double crochet right there. Let's slip stitch right in there. All right. And that is the end of round 35. So for round 36, we're going to chain one and we're going to work two half double crochet into the same half double that we just slip stitched into. And then we're going to half double crochet all the way around and get back to our very last half double crochet and then we're going to work two half double into there. So what we should have is a like a cone forming around the chain that's going to hold our towel. Okay. So go ahead and work your half double crochet around. Do, 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 and I will meet you when we get to that last half double. Okay. I'll be right back. Okay. I've come back around right there is my last half double and I'm going to work two half doubles into there and you should have 33 half doubles. Okay. If you have 34, it's no big deal. All right, slip stitch to that first. And now we're gonna move on to round 37. So round 37, we're gonna chain three. One, two, three. Now we're gonna skip that next half double, which is right there. And into the next, we're gonna work a single. Now, if you want to, you can use a stitch marker to mark that first chain so you don't accidentally keep working all the way around. And then we chain three, skip the next half double, single crochet into the next half double. Chain three, skip the next, single into the next. Chain three, skip the next, single into the next. And that's what we're going to repeat all the way around. So I'm going to go ahead and let you guys work that all the way and I'll meet you when we get back to our stitch marker. Okay. Okay. So I've come back around. I have my chain three. I have a half double that we're going to skip right here. And then we're going to single crochet right into that last half double right there. If you guys can hear that, that's my heater running. All right, so I'm gonna skip this one, single into my last half double, chain three, and then to end the round, we're gonna slip stitch right into that very first chain three. And we should have 17 chain threes all the way around, okay? All right, so that was 37. Let me turn my, pat, my page over and see all my chicken scratch. <laughs> All right, so now we're up to round 38. So 38, we are going to chain one 
and right back into that very first chain three, we're going to work a single. So I'm going to go ahead and remove that stitch marker and then we're going to chain three. One, two, three. So I'm going to mark this chain three just like that and we're going to single into the next chain three. Chain three. Single into the next chain three. Chain three. And that's all we're going to repeat all the way around until we get back to that stitch marker, okay? Single, chain three. Go to your next chain three. Single, chain three. Okay, repeat that around and I will meet you right before we get to that stitch marker, okay? Okay, so I'm back around and I'm to the last chain space before my stitch marker. I single crocheted into that and now I'm going to chain three and I'm going to slip stitch to that first chain three space. And you should still have 17. Okay, so that was round 38. So for 39 and 40, we're going to repeat the exact same thing, okay? Chain one, single crochet right back into that chain three space. Remove your stitch marker. Chain three. And that's my first chain, so I'm going to mark that. And now single crochet into that first, or to the next chain three space. Chain three. Single into the next. Chain three single into the next. Okay, so that's round 39. So I want you to repeat that around, slip stitch to your first, chain one, single crochet right back in there, chain three, mark it again, single into the next, chain three, single into the next, all the way around, and I will meet you at the end of round 40, okay? So I'm going to be right back. Okay, I'm coming to the end of round 40, and... I single crocheted into that last chain space, chain three, and now I'm going to slip stitch to the first chain three space of the round. All right, that's the end of round 40. So we're going to move on to round 41, and this is our last row. Round, sorry. Chain one, single crochet right back in there. Now we're going to chain two, and we're going to single crochet right back in there. So that same chain space has a single, chain two, single. And you can mark that for a single if you need to. Okay, now we're going to chain one to get ourselves to the next chain three space. And we're going to repeat that again. Single, chain two, single. Chain one to get us to the next chain three space. Single, chain two, single. Chain one to get us to our next chain space. Single, chain two, single, chain one to get us to our next chain space, single, chain two, single. All right, so repeat that around, and I will meet you when we get to that last chain space, okay? So I'll be right back. Okay, so I've repeated that around. That right there is my last uh, chain three space. I just worked that chain one to get me to the next chain three, so we're going to work the single, chain two, single, chain one, and slip stitch to that first single crochet. Right in there. Chain one, pull up a loop, and we are done. Besides adding our button and weaving in our ends. So, cut. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and weave in my ends off camera. And when, then when we come back, we're going to add our button. And there's our tree, our tree topper, <laughs> our towel topper. All right, we'll be right back. Okay, I have my ends weaved in. And I went and found me a, a one and a quarter inch button. Now this one I picked out because I thought it matched those the flowers really well. I wanted the yellow, but I couldn't find a yellow button. So this is my one and a quarter inch button. And I, I believe the button goes this way, but I like this way better. So what I'm going to do, and the first thing you need to do too, make sure your button fits through your buttonhole. Just like that. Perfect. Okay. 
And then the second thing you need to do is make sure your needle fits through your buttonholes. Just like that. Okay? Now, I'm going to use my crochet thread, like my size, uh, what is it, size 10 crochet thread. You don't have to use that. You can use your embroidery floss. You can use needle and thread. The only reason I'm choosing to use my crochet thread is because it was what was sitting right next to me. <laughs> so I'm going to do this. Plus, this stuff is really strong. All right, and I went with white just because... I thought it looked pretty good with my my towel. All right, so what I've done is I've ran one end of my crochet thread through my needle, and then I brought the two ends together, and I'm just gonna start tying a bunch of knots right here. Just like that. And then I'm gonna hold that knot, tie it, start another knot, and then pull it together and it should close right on the knot that I've got in between my fingers right like that and I'm gonna go one more time I'm just gonna hold that knot pull these closed and like you guys you know I'm not an expert at sewing buttons on so <laughs> sew them on however you choose to this is just how I do it all right so my needle and thread is ready so I'm going to start first by setting my button on my work and I want I would I want it to start so this is our row of single crochets and this is our first row of half double so I kind of want it to be right on top of that last row of singles so the, that's what I'm going to be sewing the button to is the last row of singles so then whenever we close this there's plenty of room right here for my stove handle, okay? So to start, I'm gonna come from the back and I'm gonna keep these four holes straight. I'm gonna come from the back. There it is. And pull. And now I'm gonna go across. And pull and now I'm gonna come from the top right to the bottom left all right and I'm just gonna keep crossing this over and over and over again until I'm pretty confident that this is not gonna come off And if you have a button that just has the two two little holes on it, then just keep going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. I really think the back of that button is so much prettier than the front is. <laughs> what the last one I did was. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but do some people go ahead and do this when they're sewing on a four a four hole button? Now that I've started it, I kind of don't like it. I shouldn't have done that. <laughs> I don't like it. Yeah, I don't like that. I'm going to take it back out. <laughs> Is that something that people do when they sew on buttons? I don't know. I just, I kind of thought it was. All right, I'm gonna cut that off and take that out. But you guys get the gist. 
sewing on a button. What was it? This one? Ow. And then here. Alright. Alright, I'm going to finish getting this sewn on until I'm pretty happy with how that's on there, okay? I'll be right back. Okay, so I've weaved that on there a good few times. So now I'm going to take my ends back here. Cut that one. I'm just going to tie this in a knot. And one more time. Ah. All right, I'm going to snip this real low. Looks great. All right, so now I've got to refold my towel here. If you see those little holes, that's where they had it pinned shut and I rip the pin or I mean not the pin the little plastic thing I ripped that out <laughs> all right so I've got my towel folded so now I'm just gonna bring it inside and run it through that little chain about to the halfway point get it all nice and pretty and there we go And you get that letter and there's our towel topper Let me bring you guys out there you go so I want to thank Nancy from my Facebook group that asked me to make one of these for her. um oh no my yarn went in my coffee <laughs> dang it well, anyway, thank you, Nancy. Thank you to everybody for watching. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. I hope you enjoyed this design. Uh, leave me a comment. Let me know what you guys think. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed my video. Subscribe if you haven't so you don't miss what I've got coming out next. And I'll dry this string off and go ahead and continue drinking my coffee. <laughs> All right, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.